This is my 2011 MacBook Pro, which uh, runs, as you can see, macOS Monterey. We installed that last time on this machine and it works brilliantly. So what I want to do today is try to install Windows 11 on it. Yeah, on this 2011 MacBook Pro, we're going to try to run Windows 11. Um, I've already done a video which got very popular. Uh, we installed Windows 10 on a 2007 MacBook. That was a lot more hassle because they have this older style kind of bias which prevents you from booting usbs and such but this being a newer machine i suppose it's gonna be a little easier but i have really no clue so i created here a usb windows 11 64 bit and i used rufus to do this because rufus will allow you the option to bypass uh, the um, uh, cpu requirement and tpm requirement because you know windows 11 has this ridiculous cpu requirement where it will not allow you to install it on like um i think it's uh older than seventh gen intel processor uh so uh yeah that's crazy but anyway rufus should bypass this and it should also um, set up a local account i've never done this before uh, so that's also first for me but can we actually get that far that's the real question so we're not going to delete monterey actually i really don't want to delete it it works so good but what we do is we will dual boot it so i'll go into disk utility and i'm not gonna use boot camp this is a, a program i don't know how the experience with boot camp is with you but every time i try to use boot camp something messed up or something didn't work out or there was some kind of error so i'm, I'm just trying to avoid boot camp altogether um, we'll even like you know there are drivers and stuff we'll worry about that all later once we actually if we actually can get it installed so i never know what to pick here let's just do show all devices oh boy so many things can i just partition the disk yeah i think that looks okay yeah, i want an actual partition because we don't, you know, we can't do anything with like Apple file system on Windows. <laughs> so we're going to create, um, I think 150 gigs should do it. MS-DOS, that looks good, fat. Let's see if that works. So yeah, that didn't work. We got an error here. But it is there. I don't know what's the deal here. Uh, it really doesn't make sense, but it's there. And it's in macOS Extended Journals. Hmm. Yeah, that's something we can't have. Let's hit Erase here. Let's try this again. Can't be that hard to format something into Windows. I mean, this is, yeah, now it worked. Good. Okay, cool. There we have 850 gigs MS-DOS and... 350 uh, Apple file system. Now what I'll do before we try to boot this from the USB, I'll just try to see if this thing still boots up at all, because after all, this is kind of a Hackintosh. It kind of boots from the open cores. I hope I didn't screw this up now with this formatting or like this partitioning, but that's looking okay to me, because I suppose that was it. Yeah, okay, it's booting. Good, we'll give it a reboot and see if it can just boot like that from USB. That's always like Russian roulette with Mac. Some work, some not. It's never like, you can definitely never say that it works guaranteed. Okay, let's hold down the option key once it's shut down. Hopefully it even sees it. And we only have EFI boot. Let's just go for it. There is the Windows logo. As you see, Windows 11 logo. And the USB LED is blinking, so it's loading something. So we're going to be patient and just cross fingers that it will boot right up. <laughs> I seem to be rather lucky nowadays with my hacking experiments here. He booted right up and I have to make do with a German copy because that's all I have. Um, but anyway, 
I think we can all kind of guess what it is. So I'm going to keep all it is, German, and install now. So now comes uh, the question, will it recognize my partition? Why should it not, honestly? But we'll just see, okay? So I have no key. We'll go with home, yep. Look at all the damn stuff here. Oh, the scrolling doesn't work. Never mind. I'm really curious to see what works and what doesn't work on Windows 11 out of the box. So here we can see. Uh, untitled. Oh, please don't give me this. Windows must be installed on an NTFS formatted partition. Yeah, I think we that's what we didn't do, right? <laughs> um, we'll just try to delete it, okay? Let's see what happens. Uh, ha! Huh. Yes, so this is the EFI, which is really precious. We better not mess this up. And this is the Monterey, and this is now Windows. It can't be that simple, guys. There. I'm waiting for the error. Reboot time. And uh, now I have to tell it again where to boot from because obviously it doesn't know. Um, at least I think. <laughs> um, should I have just let it alone? Guys, what do you say? Haha. Uh -huh. See what it will do here. Mac SSD Windows. I think Windows is it. Because if I had chosen the um, EFI boot, that would boot it again from the USB, which obviously we don't want. We want to boot from the Windows install. I'm gonna predict that it's maybe better to not have um, dedicated graphics on such old machines if you try to run Windows 11 because. With HD graphics, they usually just work fine well on other, like, more special, older NVIDIAs or whatever. They might not have drivers anymore. All right, reboot number two. Windows always has a thousand reboots on installing. <laughs> but I like how the open core just knows that this is Windows and the other partition is being left alone. <laughs> That's good because I didn't want, like... Um, I'm saying this because I was kind of fearing that, uh, you know, the patches, the SMBIO stuff might somehow interfere with the, with the Windows because um, we wrote that to the EFI partition and, you know, maybe I thought they, they would interfere and try to load the CACs in the Windows or whatever. So let's see if that did the trick with the bypassing everything with the local account and whatnot. Oh, we see some lag. <laughs> Wi-Fi, um, it, well, the Wi-Fi apparently doesn't work, okay, but the Ethernet should work. Uh, now, as I said previously, I checked this box for creating a local account. However, I don't think I did the trick. I don't think that worked because it wants me to hook up to Ethernet, so... I mean, I could go bypass it with the um, command line, but anyway, we might end up doing this. Let's just hook it up and see if that works. The Ethernet works. Good. We can connect to the internet. Let's see what it's going to do now. Does it want me to create a account? I have to say, I like the setup interface of Windows 11. It's fresh and cool. So apparently we're now rebooting again. And then it should be done. And I think the bypass worked. Because until now we weren't like bombarded with create a Microsoft account now or something. So that might work. And what do you know? We got Windows 11 running on our 2011 MacBook Pro. 
So after this reboot, it booted right here into this desktop with the correct resolution. I haven't done anything yet, so it's a first for me too. Um, but so far, Ethernet works, Wi-Fi doesn't work. Let's go into the device manager, see what it complains about. So it complains about a couple of things. It says the FaceTime camera doesn't work, uh, Bluetooth doesn't work. USB host controller, huh, interesting. PCI communication controller, I suppose that's probably the Wi-Fi then. And uh, audio is also not doing anything or I haven't heard a, a sound from it yet. Let's see if the brightness control works, it works. Huh, it says we got what? Oh, now it has Wi-Fi. Interesting. <laughs> so even better, now we have Wi-Fi. Cool, 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 cool. Now what I'll try to do, I will try to run updates and see uh, when we run the updates, if it finds any more drivers, because that's you know how usually Windows does it when you first install it. And there are a couple of things. I hate how you always have to download this whole shenanigans rather than I can just choose here Broadcom or choose Intel because this, this is like most important. So we have here Intel HD graphics 3000 as I previously also assumed that works just fine and Broadcom that's uh, for the internet. So either I think that's the wireless card. So let's, let's download all this chess and um, see what it will come up with. I have a feeling uh, the FaceTime camera, the, the webcam, will need the bootcamp stuff. But the thing is, I don't necessarily want to throw the bootcamp utility at it because it almost works just fine. And I have a fear that it might install like some old outdated drivers since obviously this was never intended to be done from Apple. And so, oh great, we have a download problem. <laughs> it was never intended to be done from Apple, so they never made drivers, I think, for even Windows 10 on this, which, you know, Windows 10 drivers might have a chance of working, but the older one, Windows 7, uh, I don't know, mates. I'm just gonna do some research. Maybe I can find, like, some some guy who has extracted the FaceTime driver. Uh, I don't know. We'll just let this update here and we'll see what we can do. So as previously said, we had this mysterious outage of the Wi-Fi driver. And so I did some research and uh, I found we can use here this driver, which is a random PC driver. Uh, with the MacBook because it has the same hardware ID here. Can I pull it up again? That's the same hardware ID. Um, so we're gonna see. Uh, yeah, if this will do the trick. So the machine itself is pretty stressed because in the background it is installing some update. You know, uh, currently yeah, the CPU is working hard and all the RAM is almost used up here. So, yeah, but that's just the way it is with those updates. But uh, if we can get the Wi-Fi working and maybe also the sound, that would be a win for me. I'm going to be on it, guys. I'll try to get it working. And uh, yeah, by the way, I also got the SD card working. As you see, I put in here SD card with this SD card driver. So that also works. Check out guys what I achieved. We have sound. <laughs> so to be honest with you, I have no idea which driver actually now did the trick. And it still shows like here this exclamation mark here. But it works. You know, I don't know. It, it seems to be working. There you go. Maybe 
like this when I connect external monitor like this is the problem but actually you know what I think we can call this a success <laughs> let's see if I got the Wi-Fi figured out oh yes I did so the Wi-Fi worked for me with this very driver or is it this and so I'm gonna save that one and delete all the other stuff by the way guys as you see the camera works and that is Windows found the driver itself which is good so one thing less to worry about. <laughs> so I was about to say that I got the Bluetooth figured out, but for some reason, I don't know, it, <laughs> it doesn't work right. So I used this random driver here, this Blue Soleil whatever driver, and it installed fine and it got rid of the exclamation mark, which I find good. But then actually using the Bluetooth, I don't know, man. It seems to not like this this driver. Um, to be honest with you, maybe I have to configure it. I don't know. I know it's a USB. It literally says it here, USB. See if that works. Oh man, what is this weird thing with Apple devices? It only says Bluetooth, starting Bluetooth. And that's it. It doesn't work. <laughs> this is the problem. So I think I'll leave it at that. Um, we got most of the stuff working. It's running off of Wi-Fi, perfectly fine. It has the Intel HD graphics driver installed. It has the sound working. Even though we have this problem here in Device Manager, I don't know what that's about. It The sound works just fine now, albeit a bit silent but maybe I'm just making this up in my head but anyway what can I say I am happy and I think I can call this a success but first before we call this an absolute success we'll have to do the sleep wake shenanigans all right will it go to sleep it goes even faster to sleep than Monterey funny okay Will it come back to us? It does. There you go. Windows 11. The latest version of Windows operating system is running on this MacBook from 2011. And that's that's just ridiculous, isn't it? You can go to YouTube. And I used it a little bit. I'm being honest, I didn't use it a whole lot, but like browsing through YouTube and I read a couple of news articles. That's really all I did. It's subjectively a tad slower than on Monterey. Um, and, you know, in general, it runs like an old computer, basically, like an old machine where you would install Windows 11. So obviously you can't expect like cutting edge performance, obviously. And I'd actually go with Windows 10 unless you really want the features of Windows 11 because you're not benefiting all that much. And yeah, you have all those limitations and there are other things of, of Windows 11 which I don't like that much. So personally, I'd say use Windows 10 on it, but Windows 11, <laughs> for our experiment, it works pretty fast and pretty good. I mean, respectively, you know, this is an old machine. Um, what I also didn't figure out is the, getting the tap to click because we, I mean, it, we, we have here this trackpad, but it's not really recognized as one. So, yeah, I suppose this is the problem with the proprietary hardware of Apple. It just uh, gets recognized as a mouse. <laughs> and so we have to kind of make do with this. But I think that's a small price to pay for, you know, getting... Uh, Windows 11 running on this. So what I will do, guys, I will link you the drivers that I can confirm working on this machine. Um, I'll link it in the description and you can try it out yourself. So that is it for me. Windows 11 on a 2011 MacBook Pro. Pretty cool that it works that easily. We still have macOS dual booted. Still everything's there and now we also have Windows. Isn't it great?
Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about this and see you later.